Hey, can everyone hear me? Great. Okay. Um, I'll promise to be loud and clear. Um, so I'm Xavier with New Yorkers Against Gun Violence. Um, to start off, I'd like to uh, really thank uh, Life After Loss Andre for giving me, giving me the opportunity to speak to you all today. Um, this is a really important day, um, not just because of you know its relationship to my work, but because of its relationship to me personally. So um, I'm here today um, not only as a social worker, but as a survivor of gun violence. Um, as a young teenager at my first house party, um, I unfortunately watched a young boy's life be taken away. Um, and it was a moment that completely changed my life. Um, and I've looked for ways, uh, big and small, to honor Christopher. Um, and it's led me to ask some hard questions about what I needed as a young person at that time. Um, so after years of processing and the hard work that, it, that I'm sure so many in, uh, people uh, in this space have been doing, um, I know that I needed resources and I know that I needed community. Um, so as a social worker with New Yorkers Against Gun Violence, um, I support people who have been impacted by all crimes in New York State, um, connecting them uh, with resources such as mental health, um, such as um, physical health, uh, and also connections to victims' compensation. Um, and while my lived experience doesn't mean that I know everyone's story, it means that I have my own place uh, to start to understand. Um, so uh, with that, um, I want to say I appreciate this moment for uh, survivors, uh, people who have been impacted um, in this community to, to join, um, to learn about what resources are out here, um, and most importantly, uh, to, to have space in a place that is without fear and without shame. Uh, we all deserve the space to, um, you know, to be with people who take care um, and people who are actually fighting for us. So um, with that, I hope we go forward to, to challenge gun violence and to end it ultimately. Thank you.